Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am working on a shabby cheek, chic kitty tag. I'm doing a swap with some ladies in my Facebook group, and so since they have, one of the, two of the ladies has said that they like kitties, I thought I would make a tag. So what I've got here is a four by six piece of cardstock, and I've got a little pen. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to mark where I want to cut these corners. So I'm just going at the one inch mark and making a little dot. And then I'm going to take this and cut at a diagonal from that dot to the dot. And I'm taking this piece and I'm going to put it on the other side. And I'm going to cut this off as well. So now I have a matching tag shape on both sides. Then I've cut a piece of scrapbook paper that is 3.75 inches wide by 5.75 inches tall and what I'm doing now is I'm centering it from left to right and I'm bringing it all the way to the top and I am going to cut off these corners and that will help make this mat match on my card. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way around all four of these pieces with some distressed ink. I've got vintage, or no, what is this? This is walnut stains. It's a little bit darker than vintage photo, and I'm really liking that darker color. So we're just going to go in here and use the blending tool and go all the way around. I've also got a little tiny word here that I have created and I had these for sale in my shop and I'm going to trim this off and make a little mat to match and the paper was white so I'm going to go around the edges with the distressed tool to cover up that white edge. I'm going to go around the edges this well. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I want to adhere these pieces together so that they won't shift on me when I go to the sewing machine. So I'm just using the Scrap Perfect with the no clog widening cap. I'm going to put that as a little line all the way around. Again, I'm not going to go all the way to the edge because I plan to sew, but if you don't sew, just go ahead and make sure you put a little generous amount of glue so your paper doesn't lift. I have a little doily here and what I want to do is I want to adhere this in the middle. So I'm just putting a little bit on here because I plan to sew. So I'm just going to indicate where my center mark is. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'm going to put a zigzag stitch around the perimeter of the tag and the kitty image, which is from Calico Collage. It comes as a set of nine. All right, I'll be right back. I've added the zigzag stitch around the ATC size piece as well as the tag. Again, this was a piece of cardstock that I matted behind the kitty cat. I didn't want to sew this on top of the journaling card because I didn't want the stitching to be on the back side so people could write on the back side of this journaling tag is what I meant to say. All right, so now what I'm going to do is adhere this into place. So I'm going to put a nice amount of glue around the perimeter and then I'll make a little zigzag in the middle. I've got a little die cut kitty cat here. This was from a package that I got a long time ago, a year or so ago. It was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I think they were normally like 20 of them for three bucks. And I think I paid less than 50 cents for them when they were marked down. And I'm just adding a little bit of glue on there just so it doesn't lift up on the back side of this little kitty. And we're going to place it down here on the bottom. And then here's the little word timeless. I'm going to place this on here, just adding a little bit of glue to it. I've got my crocodile hole punch. So if you have a hole punch, just use that. I'm going to punch it at the top center. Then I have a 
one inch by about I think it's about eight inches long of scrap of fabric I'm going to push that through I'm just going to tie it in a, a simple knot at the top I have some tulip glitter dimensional fabric paint I just like using it because it's clear and I'm gonna put a little bit where the eyes are and on the flowers it just adds a little bit of sparkle and then I have some eyelash yarn it's a fuzzy yarn and what I'm gonna do is make a tiny little fluffy bow so I've got two fingers and I've spread them apart just a little bit I'm gonna wrap this around three times and then trim it pinching this in half and then I'm gonna take another little length of this and fold it in half fold the bow portion in half and then tie a knot with the piece that I've wrapped around cut off the excess so now I have this little fluffy piece which I think is perfect with kitty cats that I want to place up here now since this is rather fluffy and sometimes using a wet glue is hard to keep it in place so I've got a hot glue I'm just gonna make a little dollop and then press that in do not put your finger in that hot glue because it is hot and it will burn I have a scar on my leg from wearing shorts and using a hot glue gun so I'm gonna place a little bit up on top and place this little flower on there and there is my little shabby chic kitten tag let me show you some others that I have made as well I've got some extras here because I've got to send off four in my swap so the extras I'm gonna put in my shop let me zoom out so you can see more so here are there were nine images from calico collage and so I made all of those into tags I don't want to set it on top of that one since the paint is still wet I don't know these are just fun I had a good time making them and I hope that the ladies like getting them I'll have photos at the end as well so if this is something that you like, you like the layering and the texture that I used today, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Comment below what kind of shabby chic things do you like to see in a tag or junk journal element. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell at the top. Let's see, check out the link description box for links to my groups as well as the calico collage images that I used today. And let's see, I don't know, just thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate you guys and gals for taking the time to watch and like and comment and share my videos. Thanks so much. Y'all have a fabulous day. We'll see you next time. Bye.